Alright guys, as you can see, Ed is in a bit of pain. Mm -hmm. They've put in a, a balloon, like a tube. A balloon catheter. Yeah, and that's going to help um, break the waters. So, uh, they said tomorrow morning, most likely, it's um, to going labour. Go and labour. So, now it's just a waiting game. He's been staying in a very long time. I don't want to give birth anymore. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. Yeah, oh, no, I want to have a C-section. I trained it to be strong, so <laughs> just should be sure. It's no. currently 8.12 p.m. We'll check in soon at 8.13. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Alright, guys, we'll see you soon. The guy he came and checked my cervix, and then he was like to me, he's like, oh, he's like, yep, it, it did the job. We'll send you down in twenty minutes and get it started. Okay. And so then we'll break, so? no, then probably break the waters, no, everything. You're not allowed to go anywhere, <laughs> mate. <laughs> How are you feeling, Rani? Oh, I'm feeling so excited. That's so really good. I can't wait Me to, too. to see my grandchildren. Grandson, my granddaughter. Do you want to cry right now on camera? <laughs> you want to cry? I can't cry right now. Don't make her cry. I love it. That's the girl. Is that what's the pink one? Yeah. She's very cheeky. She's the cheeky one. She likes to hide from, from that. This is always wrong. <laughs> yeah, he's easy. Sometimes they go identical yeah. for a few beats and then they go off on their own tangents again. and the birthing suite. How are you feeling, darling? I'm alright. Are you looking forward to the next few hours? Yes and no. <laughs> <laughs> So the first one we're hoping will be just straightforward as a normal delivery and you know, no particular fuss about that. Yes. And maybe you would want the epidural and maybe you wouldn't. Yes. The, the second one can be a bit more complicated. So it has to, I was trying to try explain, do two things. It has to behave itself on the monitoring so that we're not getting great big decelerations and things and it doesn't need to be delivered in a hurry. Yeah. And it has to be mechanically lined up in some sort of position that we can actually get it out. Yeah. So either head or as a breach where yeah. we can get a foot and maybe help deliver it. If it's transverse, sometimes the foot might still be available, but if it's transverse with the back, then whoops, yeah. how much we can do with it. Yeah. So sometimes they do wind up 
with different delivery modes. One vaginally, and if the other one is not cooperative, yeah. then maybe by Caesar sometimes. All right. Often there's a bit of time between the two babies, so maybe up to an hour right. between the two. Right. We get the contractions going again, and then the second one has to come down, and sometimes it takes a little while. So hopefully your second baby will be well behaved during that hour and, and, not, and not play out. Don't be afraid, but uh, 
darling, it's all your own. Right? You remember I said, don't be afraid, darling. Bobby's just here. Big shot. Give me another one. Keep going. Keep going. And again, go again. to see if we can get the uh, feet and turn the baby around. Otherwise, if we can't, then we'll be a cesarean section. So the second baby is coming across. Oh, head and the ears to come up the heart. So usually we like the baby to have either the head to come down like the cheated, or the bottom and bottom to come first. Oh, so when you come up close, then there is that cord that comes on a good idea. Uh, so what we do, we have to go on the ears. Jane, I'll just come and get the Love you, Asia. Bye, Asia. We'll see you back here with the Royal. And the